Hey everybody and welcome to the first video in Indie Resources how to build a browser based MMO version 2.0. Um, I'm basically doing this series because the original series which is still pretty popular and we still get a lot of people coming to the forum, still get a lot of questions, a lot of views on it. It's pretty much outdated. It's very outdated. That was done several years ago and as you know the technology in the web is grows like crazy. Um, PHP has changed. Um, MySQL has kind of went to MySQL I. Um, there's there's just been a lot of <clears throat> a lot of new changes, especially in the browsers. A lot of new stuff out there that we can utilize and make this a lot easier, a lot better. So I wanted to take all these technologies, put them together, and create a new series of videos for those of you that are looking to build a game and maybe end up ending up at the old old uh, tutorials and having to do a lot of changes. Plus, just the people who just come here, this is your first time and want to build it. So just give you a quick background. Um, the original set of videos were about 40, 30, 40 videos. I don't even remember. Quite a few. Um, they went from building a game, start to scratch. I'm going to keep kind of the same uh, the same pace on those to where it's simple, it's easy to use, easy to understand, but yet it's not going to be so slow that you're going to get bored out of your mind. We're going to keep things moving, but we're also going to keep make sure you guys understand everything. The base, biggest thing I can say, which I say on all my videos, is that if you have any questions, any comments, suggestions, don't post them on YouTube. Feel free to post suggestions and comments if you want on, you, on YouTube, but don't ask questions there because we have IndieResource.com. Come to the forums. This is a whole community of developers that are web developers, all kinds of developers, some awesome guys here, excellent smart people. They can they love to help answer questions. They can help answer your questions. There's a section down here called YouTube Tutorials that I'm putting them in, and we have a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. Plus, there's just a lot of other, just tons of information about you know, your persistent browser-based games, game design, just all kinds of cool things. Great community community to be a part of. We've grown a lot <clears throat> in the past couple years. Um, just a lot of really cool people here, and this is where you'll get your answers, uh, your questions answered. Um, you post them on YouTube, it's a very, very slim chance they're going to get answered. I just don't check them. There's, you know, everybody knows how many trolls are on YouTube, and they love to just post stupid things, and I just kind of got tired of it, so that's why we have these forums here. You can come here, you can post them, we can kind of control them more than just me can answer them, so that way you're not waiting on me. So make sure you go to Indie Resource, become part of the community. Um, the other thing I kind of want to share, <clears throat> this is kind of brand new. It's been around a while, but we just, I just now want to start really using it, is if you go to Gallery right here, the one thing I've always wanted is a place to be able to share graphics, free graphics, instead of going to Google and typing RPG Maker or whatever else and getting them. We kind of built this kind of section here to where we can start adding in. You guys can come and post them, uh, share them. That way we all have one spot where we can come in and get some free graphics. So it, we just need to make it grow. We haven't really done a whole lot to it. I'm going to start adding more to it. I hope you guys will too. And we'll, we'll use some graphics from here for our game as well to kind of uh, to make it easy. That way you guys can all come to the same place and get the graphics and we'll add some as we go. So just don't forget about that. Um, so I can't stress enough, come here, come to the forums. It's not because I want my forums to grow. There's no ads on them, it's a free forums. I just, it's easier if everything's all in one place and there's more than just me that can answer them. So to get this thing started, that's the first thing you're gonna need is your WAMP server. With WAMP server, um, I'm not going to go into the installation or anything like that. I'm basically going to, let me just close this out real quick. Um, uh, my first video on the, in the tutorial series, and I'll put a link there, goes over how to install WAMP Server. It hasn't changed hardly at all. If you've already got something, you don't need WAMP Server. Basically, WAMP Server is just a local host server instead of having to put everything on an HTTP server. It's a way that we can locally kind of, um, we can kind of put everything uh, locally to where we don't have to worry put it put it on the, on the web. Uh, so install this. It's real simple. If you have any issues with it, and you can see I have it here, um, it should be green. If it's if it's orange or any other color or red, and you have issues with it, my suggestion is to go to their form and ask. Because, or it's probably already been answered because they are far better at answering their stuff than what we will be. So I would suggest that most people don't have problems with it. If you do have problems with it, it's probably because Skype so Skype messes it up. Um, I've had uh, regular uh, MS SQL mess it up, so if you have those things running, you may want to turn them off, and that may, may fix your problem. But if you don't, come to the forums. It's pretty simple to get it up and running. I've been using it for years upon years, and I love it. There's also XAMPP and a bunch of other stuff, LAMP and MAMP for Mac and all that kind of stuff. So it's not just – there's there's quite a few that, that, that of different versions that you can get. So once you have that installed, you can pause the video, get it installed. There's going to be a couple requirements that we have as far as files, but only a few. Uh, the first thing is code editor. If you've already got a code editor, great. If you don't, I recommend brackets. 
it's free, it's easy to install, it's easy to use, I love it. Um, another good one is uh, P, uh, WebStorm, PHP Storm, but I would, you know, WebStorm be the one you'd want. Um, to make sure to get a code editor, if you have another one, that's fine. I'm a, I'm a big uh, SQL, or I'm sorry, a Visual Studio person, but when it comes to JavaScript type stuff, I love brackets, so definitely recommend brackets. Um, kind of something I want to kind of tail off into as well is this new 2.0 version is not going to be like the old version. We, we're, we're going to we're going to use much newer technology. So we're going to be using uh, JavaScript, Ajax. We'll be using uh, some PHP on the back end just so we cover everything. But it's it's going to be much faster. We're going to be using Bootstrap, which is an amazing layout, which you're going to see here in a minute how cool it is. So if you hate Bootstrap, you've never heard of it. I implore you to at least watch this video so you see how cool this is, how easy it'll be for us to get set up because it really is pretty neat. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna use some newer technologies and, and make this game playable today because I know the old stuff we did it's just it's really it's it's a lot like the old old games of they're just they're just kind of getting phased out and this new persistent browser based game stuff is is with um, responsive websites and things are, are kind of the new thing and I want to make sure we pull that all into what we're doing here to where everybody can make a game and kind of build a community off of it and we're make sure, we're gonna make sure to cover things a lot of mistakes that I learned in the first videos. I'm kind of going to cover here to where we don't have those mistakes again and a lot of that has to do with make sure we build it to where everybody can build their own game out of it, understand it, a lot of branches, add-ons, things like that. So it'll be a lot of fun. So get brackets or your, your code editor. <clears throat> now for the file requirements, there's only really only two for now. jQuery is going to be one of them. It's a JavaScript library. Just download it. I'm not going to do it right now nor am I going to install any of this stuff because it's all of it's pretty simple and I'm not going to waste time on the video. You, you should be able to get it pretty easily. but just go to jQuery.com download and you'll see the compressed version. It'll be a zipped file. Just grab it, unzip it. I, what I do is I unzip it into a JavaScript file and you can see I have a lot of stuff here. But here's my jQuery and if your version is different, don't worry about it. It all pretty much works the same. There's only really only a few files you need here and that's going to be your this is actually jQuery UI, my bad. We don't we're, we may use jQuery UI, but we may not. But anyway, wherever you extract it here, you're just going to want to grab it. Um, and I'll show you the files here in a minute to grab. The other thing we want to grab is Bootstrap. Make sure you go to getbootstrap.com. Just don't go bootstrap.com because there's two versions. There's the older version and the newer version. The newer version is what we want. A lot of websites still use the old version, so they still have it kind of the site and then stuff on them because there still is a lot that haven't really changed because they made a huge change to the version 3.0, I believe it was. That really just made it awesome. So download that, extract those files. Don't worry about which ones to grab yet. I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, and actually we can move on to that now so inside your if you have a lamp or wherever wherever your HTTP is you, if you've already got one you already understand it but if you don't this is the first time using lamp go to your C drive lamp www or wherever you installed it your www drive is basically your web server drive so as you can see here I got a ton of projects in here um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna create a new project new folder basically and I'm just gonna call it MMO tutorial you can call it whatever you want just remember it's going to be different than mine. So with the MMO tutorial, go into it or whatever yours is name and you're going to create another folder and you're going to call it live for library. Now what I've done is I've already grabbed the files. I keep it in here because I, I do so much changing. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to show you what's in it here in a minute. Whoops. We're going to go back to our MMO tutorial. I could, I could go over it, but I'm just going to paste it. But what you're going to want to grab is you're going to want to grab, and you, you'll see jQuery UI in here. Don't worry about it. We're, we're not going to use it right now, and we'll get into that later. But for right now, the only thing you need to grab out of Bootstrap, what you extracted, is your bootstrap.min.css and your bootstrap.min.js. And then with jQuery, grab the jQuery.min. Like I said, don't worry if your version's different. If the file isn't exact. It's fine. Um, and then your jQuery, and jQuery doesn't have a CSS. This is just the UI, which I tell you what, just so I don't confuse anybody, I'm just going to delete it out of there. So these are the only ones you should have in here. Go ahead and create you a new... I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. I'm going to do new text document and I'm going to call it style.css. Oops, too many S's. <clears throat> That's going to be our style sheet. Uh, don't worry about it right now, just know that it's in there. So we've got our bl blank project, doesn't really do anything. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new text file. We're going to call it index.html. 
HTML. That's going to be our main page. Yes. And if you have WAMP running and it's green, we can go ahead and just do localhost slash MMO tutorial or whatever you named that folder. And you'll see it's a blank page, but it is working. So here's where it gets cool. If you go to www.layoutit.com, that's basically it right there, .com, you'll see this. If it looks a little different, it may, may be because you're watching it after they've made a change or whatever. But do this start now with Bootstrap 3. And this is really cool. This is how you can basically quickly make a layout. I'm actually going to remove... I'm going to keep this right here. So all I did was click remove there to remove that bottom part. And I kind of like, this isn't exactly what the web page is going to look like, and you'll see it for, see, see what I'm talking about here in a minute, but we're going to go ahead and keep this up here because we're going to change this a little bit. And then I like this because this is where we can put kind of our, our logo. But now we need to we need to create a map. We need to create um, some stats, some map stats. We need character stats, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to change these. Now, with the grid system with Bootstrap, it's a 12 grid system. So basically it turns your, your, your index page into 12, think of them as columns of columns, and then you can have as many rows as you want. So think of it as an Excel spreadsheet or an old HTML table, except for it's by far better. Um, so what this is, is this is 12. All It's using all grid. This is going to be 12 as well. So what I want to do is I want to map, uh, and I'll sh don't worry about if you don't understand this right now, but I'm going to do one because it's going to be a little side column. So I'm using one grid that's just going to kind of be blank. It's for kind of a fluid layout. I'm going to use form for my map. So now I'm at five. Remember, I got to equal 12. And then I'm going to use um, three for map stats. Let's do two for um, some other stats. And let's do one to, to finish out that side. And I'm not there yet. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, I get one more. Let's let's make this one three then. So once you have that, so it's come up here and type one four, one space four space three space three space one. Take it and drag it, and you'll see how this works. So basically, what oops, basically what it did. Let's try to get this to there. So what it did is it created a new row, and it created these columns. And what you can do with these columns, you kind of understand. Let me show you. I'm gonna stick something in here. Let's do a. Let's just do a list. The, think of them as divs. It created a little div in here. But the neat thing is you don't have to worry about doing the whole um, float and all that other crap. If you already know about Bootstrap and, and it, this is boring, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure everybody understands it. But So we can um, we can come in here and we can do, uh, let's do some text here. And we're going to come in and change all this because, of course, we're going to have a map here and stuff like that. But um, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea. And what I'm going to do with these two sides, you'll see here in a minute, these are just to kind of make it look pretty basically. We can use them later if we want, but I, I didn't want this whole thing stretching the entire way, and you'll see what I mean here in a moment, so bear with me. So now we have a map, maybe some map stats, maybe some character stats, or we could do some other things here. Let's do something on the bottom. So let's, in case we want like a nav or something on the bottom, let's do another grid system. And and also remember, we um, let's just drag a 12 down there. We can change this later once we get into the code. This is for just quick mock-up. So <clears throat> now we've got this one big column kind of like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this download, continue non-logged, I don't, I don't really care, and I'm just going to control all, control A to get out everything, and then I'm going to copy it, control C for copy, no reason to download it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our MMO tutorial, to our, back to our index.html, do an open with and brackets. Hopefully you have a brackets available. Uh, let me get rid of some of this other stuff from my old project. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just do a control V and paste it in there. Now, since we just pasted this in here, we are missing our links and everything to Bootstrap and jQuery because this does rely on that. So we just got to add that real quick. Um, and I'm, the video is running long, so I'm not going to worry about the header and the HTML and body and all that stuff right now. For now, we're just going to get it to where we know it works. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in our links real quick. We can add in our links to our CSS. Um, link REL equals... Style sheet. Don't worry if you don't don't know what this is. Just know that it's linking to it. Um, href equals vibe. One thing I like about Bootstrap, I mean, I'm sorry, on brackets is it kind of gives you an option for everything. Make sure you do all your um, your jQuery stuff first. But with CSS, it doesn't really matter since it doesn't have it. We got our style sheet in there. Now let's add our um, script type equals application JavaScript R 
source equals live. Now make sure here you add jQuery first because Bootstrap relies on it. And then we can do the same thing again. Script, I guess we could have copied and pasted it, but oh well. Type equals case in JavaScript, src equals live bootstrap dot min dot js. Okay, so we can save. Now we can test it. Just make sure, of course, you saved it. So go back to your um, go back to your browser, whichever browser you're using. Hit refresh, and you'll now see that it pops up, and it's kind of already built everything for us. Now, if you notice, we got all this white space here. Um, that's because it's it's the responsive. It's 12 grids inside here. We can change that real quick. So if you go back to brackets, and where it says container, and let's go ahead and break this out so we're not all squished up. And if you right after container, if you put a dash fluid, save it, come back to your internet, refresh it, you'll see that it stretches the whole thing. So you'll see now where I have the that one here and then there's a one here. This actually stretches out. That's so I'm not stretched all the way over with, with this stuff. And you'll see later how well it looks. We may change it later and it's really easy to change. But So we got our header that we can put here that's going to be our logo or whatever. We got some links and stuff we can do up here. We can have our map system here. We can have um, some stats here, some other stats here, and then we've also got this below, which you don't see, but it truly is a grid there. We can actually put borders around it so you can see it, but it's one thing I love about Bootstrap. How easy was that to build kind of already our base? If you were to do that with tables or just strict CSS and HTML, it would take a lot longer. And we're gonna be learning more about Bootstrap and how a lot of other cool things it can do. So it's a good place to stop this video. We got the website up, we got cool settings up, we got a responsive website. It, um, it does do well with with you know growing and shrinking which is really cool because it's very responsive so that's pretty awesome that way you can do it on phones or whatever else kind of automatically so the next video we're going to start working on styling this thing out getting our getting everything we need in there and then we're going to start working on the map probably the first thing we're going to do is get the map built um, we're going to do a lot we're going we're to actually build a map that you can travel around on this time it's not going to be real time um, I just don't real time's just not not what we're really going for. We're going for more persistent browser browser based game. But what be what might be real time, um, depending on where we go with it, is you know of course we're going to have a chat and everything else and and players being able to talk and trade and things like that. That will be real time. But and you will see other players on map that will be moving around. But other than that, we're not going to we're not going to get into a true MMO server with Node.js or whatever. This is going to be a true persistent based game.